coming to you from the back room of your parents' favorite porn store, it is Cursory Overload. In this motherfucker. What up, everybody? What's up? Uh, motherfuckers it and has been a yeah. long time. It has been. Well, yeah. Because this motherfucker's joined the Get Rich or Die Trying Club. and uh, I, I, I feel like the latter is, is yeah, more of it. The latter. <laughs> All I'm, right. I'm not getting very rich, but I feel like I'm fucking dying. Well, yeah, pretty much. That's the way it is. Oh, it's man. It's all your fault. You rubbed off on me all those fucking years. Uh, no, it's not. Don't blame me on that one for that one. It's, I, uh, I never believed that until now. Yeah, nah. You've just been probably watching Idiocracy, a lot of Frito Pendejo, so it's like, I like money. <laughs> <laughs> Money's good. I like money. Yeah, go away, Baton. I'm going. Anyway, you you motherfuckers and motherfuckerettes, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. We know you could be anywhere. You had choices, and you chose our smiling voices. Hey. Boy, are you a poor judge of character. Anyway. Hey, so how you been besides working your ass off? You know, I'll tell you what. I've been working a crap load of hours. (sighs) <sighs> and I have come to realize that we, as a society, are doomed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I shouldn't find this every, funny, but I do. Every day I see, I see the, I just see it more and more. I'm like, one of the two things, either we're doomed or idiocracy was a documentary. It became, it was more, of, two. more of a prophecy. It was supposed to be a funny movie, a comedy, but... It became a real life. Yes. Real, real life. I mean, every day I'm seeing it and and just being that it's a pandemic makes it even better. Probably should be, probably should be worse, but for me, it makes it better because I just sit back and I laugh even more about it. Mm. You know, it's just, you know, I I think there's certain things that we as a society have forgotten about Mm. and, and, so those those things are are very much needed, and you can't go back. It, it's either you have them or you don't. So I think it's up to us to instill in our children those uh those, those values that we had growing up, but not everybody did. Namely, the you know being scared that any time your mom moves, she's going to beat the shit out of you. Uh because I I just I I think that helps make you a better person. Yeah, you know, I think Chris Rock had it right back in the day. Knock your fucking kids out. You know? Right. <laughs> knock them the fuck out. Just knock them the fuck out. Yeah. Bernie Mac said it right, those yeah. motherfucking kids. I'll knock your motherfucking ass out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just I think it's it has something to do with that. I, I don't know. Kids coming in all disrespectful. You know, uh, yeah. Well, you know, everybody entitled. I was entitled to two things: hard work or an ass whooping. That's what I was entitled to. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, you know me like it, I don't know. It, it it just I don't know. I'm not saying my mom was a bad person by any means, but you know. Well, no. She expected, you know, the world ain't going to give you everything. You know, you got to go out there and work hard and fucking get it. And we're not like that anymore. Somewhere along the line, we became entitled little pansy bitches. Give it to me now. Right. I I want it, so I have to have it. I don't have to prove to you that I'm worth it. I just am. Just give it to me now. I'm here. Give me whatever I want. Yeah. No. Where's my participation? (laughs) <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on that bullshit. 
Okay. So, uh, what the fuck are we talking about? And it better not be what we've been talking about the last few episodes, because it's like, I'm, no, actually, I, I'm uh, sick and tired of uh, COVID nineteen, and I'm trying not to get sick of that shit. So, you know, I uh, I saw a movie oh. the other day. I actually got to see a movie. Nice. Which one? Yeah, we watched the new cartoon movie Onward. Oh. Onward. And yeah. Onward. It's a Disney Pixar kind of a movie. Yeah, I think uh, the last time I was in the theater, I saw the trailer for it. I'm like surprised with the. Hey, hey, hey Chuck. I really was. I, I really Norris, enjoyed it. Chuck Norris just fucking grabbed me by the throat, but you said something to the effect that you were surprised by the movie and you really enjoyed it. Yep. Holy yep. Shit. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it. I, I don't know. It was kind of like uh, like Shrek, where I had. Okay, we were doing so good. Uh, you know? We were doing so good. Then Chuck Norris just started throat. Uh, I don't know, choking <sighs> you, force choking you, or whatever the fuck he's doing. God um, damn it! Okay, look, we're we're good there. So you were saying it was kind of like Shrek. Yeah, and the fact that there was some adult. The fact that there was adult humor. Okay, you really went away now, motherfucker. I don't know what you did, but Chuck Norris is really, I guess, giving it to you deep. I don't know. Attention. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought well, it was really so well you, done. Just so you know, the last 30 seconds or so, I guess you've had Chuck Norris's cock deep down your throat because uh, he, he was choking the fuck out of you. God damn it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you there? Yep. Okay. So you were saying uh, the the adult humor, and then you went away. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to go away. I apologize. Uh, Yeah, the the adult humor is kind of a nerdy humor, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like a Dungeons & Dragons kind of a role-playing kind of nerd. 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 D&D. And this motherfucker keeps going away. And it's funny, because before we hit the record button, we had no issues. But now that we hit the record button, this motherfucker just keeps going into the... Jacking up. He keeps going into the Skype force. Even though we're not, using, we're not using Skype, but he keeps going into the Skype force. Oh. Hmm. I hear you. I hear you. Now, you're here. Oh. I hate it. I hate the Skype force. I want to know what what what's causing it. Uh, the volume on your mic, okay? How's this? Uh, you turned it up or down? I turned it up. Okay, let's see what that does. Okay. You know what? Let me try one other thing. How's that? Okay. Yeah, sounds. Does that sound the same? Uh, a little bit distorted, uh, a little bit. Lo- I guess you made it, make made it louder. Okay. It's a, it's okay. I, I got you. You're good. Okay. So, yeah, I watched Onward. It was good. Watch it. Oh, definitely. I mean, that's basically all we can do right now. Go to work, come home, and uh, watch shit. Which um, I started watching Merlin. I do- remember watching. I the first episode maybe the first season. Oh, you watched the first season. Me, I re- I, I want to say I did. I watched the first episode a long time ago, but it was kind of a slow, yeah, slow watch. So it, 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 I was like, okay, I I watched one episode and then I put it away. Uh, I somehow started watching it again, and I'm fucking hooked on it right now. We started watching. Well, we we were watching before Manifest which is on NBC Mm -hmm. and we paused like some came up. I I think my maybe work came up and we just started about that back watching it and it's good. Um, But then I turned my daughter on to an older BBC program called uh, being human. Oh, okay. And I don't know if you, do you have uh, Amazon prime? Yes. That's what I I believe it's on. I watched at least the first episode on Amazon prime. That's where I um, catch uh, good omens. It's all about uh, a vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Okay. Yeah. A vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost 
but not like what you think. Hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. Like they're all trying friends. To, they're friends and trying to fit in. And and they all live in the same house. Okay. Hmm. Apparently you went away. Last thing you said was they all live in the same house. They're going away on me. You went away. And uh Okay, I heard you now. Okay, so apparently we both did this time. Damn it. Uh, I need uh, Yeah, but this time we both disappeared. Yeah, well, I'm still here, but uh, you dis you disappeared and uh, I don't know why Chuck Norris must really be mad. I think last time you were just cussing him out and he's coming back with the vengeance. I'm not cussing him out. I'm praising him now. I'm like giving him a fucking like, virtual blowjob. Like I said, uh, until we get John Wick on our side, don't, 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 don't be saying shit like fuck Chuck Norris. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you were saying uh, werewolves, vampire, and uh, ghost. A uh, ghost. Li- they all live in the same house. Hmm. And it's, it's, it's really, really well done. Um, I, I recommend everybody check it out. They did do an American version of it. Eh. Okay. The American, uh, you didn't like it? Yeah, I, I didn't really care for it. After having watched the British version, watching the American version, it just lost something. Uh, there was There's the, something, about, something about the characters. Uh, they did not speak with that very eloquent accent then. Yeah, I don't even think it was that. I think it was just the people playing the characters were just which is ridic- more is ridiculous. Every time that I say, I, I catch myself when I say, "Oh, speaks with the English accent or whatever," I'm like, it's kind of like I don't know, weird. Because I told you I used to work with an English guy back in the day, and I'm not talking about Mr. Lund. Okay, <laughs> I'm not talking about him. Back in the when I was, I saying, love him. Oh, who doesn't? I mean, old pervert. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is uh, this guy was obviously British, English, and uh, we would say things like, well, we can't understand you with your English accent. And that would ju- that was a trigger for him because, you know, he would give us a lecture how he comes from the place where English is the language. You know, it's like, hey, that that's English. What we speak over here is just some colonist uh i can't remember what he used to tell us but he yeah. would, he would turn every shade of red oh, he would get mad <laughs> yeah because uh that this guy is like this is back in back in the day so right now when i said that okay maybe maybe the fact that it didn't have that english flavor to it you know that dialect that accent and you said it wasn't that so okay oh man you went away again what the fuck Maybe the fact that we're not cursing enough in cursory overload is why Chuck Norris is taking you away so that we'll have to spit out a few motherfuckers, uh, what the fucks, and uh, I don't know. Looks like he really went away this time. Okay, so to that, I'm going to dial him up again. You there? Boom. And we're dialing him up again. Okay, I I had to like uh di- disconnect and dial you up again. Oh, okay. Because it was just it looks like you weren't coming back. Okay. All right. So, uh jeez, I wonder what other options we should we should I don't know. A lot of people have been going to Zoom. All right, maybe I can try that. I'll download it. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, this maybe. is not working. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Of course, uh, having the kids here, I mean, they they could be on my fucking uh, Wi-Fi too, you know, because now they got their right. phones, laptops. I should probably go check and make sure that. <laughs> well, anyway, well, we're here. So, okay, so, okay, so me, uh, let's see. Uh, somehow the 12-year-old discovered the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, Beautiful. I know. I walked in on him one day, and he was just cracking up. And I, I was like, "What the hell are you watching?" And there he was watching the Prince of Bel Air. Hey, 
Like father, like son. All I could say is, no, the thing is that a lot of the times they have to discover those things on their own. Because when dad tells them, it's like, ah, that's old shit dad used to watch. Right. But when they discover it, 